All right, everybody, Bryce Paul here from Crypt Nation, Crypto Revolution, Crypto 101 podcast. Today, we're talking about two different things. Um, and I'm going to keep this one quick, but it's very, very important. Um, there's something, well, first, we're going to talk about uh, the economic stimulus plan, just give you guys a quick update on how you guys might be seeing some cash in your pockets uh, here pretty soon, actually, yeah, on, on Wednesday, uh, the 25th, I guess. Uh, we had President Trump and Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Mnuchin go up and talk about how this just got passed in the Senate, and now it's going to the House of Congress to become a bill uh, and then eventually become a law. So what's going to happen is that we're going to have uh, basically same-day loan origination for small businesses. So that's super important because basically if you're a small business owner and you're struggling to make rent, you're struggling to pay your suppliers – um, you're struggling to pay your workers and you're getting forced to pay, to pay, uh, lay people off. There's going to be a new rule basically where you could go to your local bank, your FDIC insured bank, and you are going to be able to get a same day loan. Um, again, you'll have to pay it back eventually. So that's why this stimulus package is like short term, really low interest rate loans. Some loans might be zero interest rate. Pardon my, uh, my cough here, my burp. Um, so anyhow, so that's really big. So if you're a small business owner, hang in there. You're going to be able to get a loan uh, if you qualify uh, under this, you know, this bill. Right um, there. The government's also almost 100 percent set on these tax incentives that they're going to be giving to um, business owners, corporations and small business, basically in order to incentivize them to retain workers. Um, that's super important. Um, to retain your workers uh, by basically giving you, uh, as a business owner, a tax incentive to do so. Um, again, there's a chart. I'll, I'll pull it up here to get the exact numbers that are being proposed. Um, basically, if in 2018 uh, you made $75,000 or less, you're eligible for $1,200 uh, from the government. Um if you made eighty thousand uh, dollars, you're eligible for nine fifty. If you made eighty five thousand, you're eligible eligible for seven hundred. Uh, if you made ninety thousand, uh, you're eligible for four fifty. If you made ninety five thousand, you're eligible for two hundred. And anything over ninety nine thousand uh, dollars, you're eligible for nothing. And the the um, the secretary of the treasury, Steve Mnuchin, basically laid it out that this stimulus, he's expecting to be able to happen uh, for three months. And so you'd be getting that every three months. And that's just a, that's just the starting point is what he thinks that this economy will need. Um, so if you're in those brackets, that's great news. Um, if you're not in those brackets, then it doesn't do any good for you. And you're probably going to feel like um, short shrifted again, but that's just the name of the game. Um, they're also giving, you know, several hundred billion dollars to the healthcare uh, companies, which, to help them really bail out the the biological, uh, you know, crazy nature that everything is going under right now, um, you know, obviously the, the the healthcare industry is under immense, immense, immense stress, and so they're trying to just knock it all out, give it a lot of liquidity, give it some short term, you know, really low interest rate loans in order to get the nation healthy again. Um, also giving a fund of $150 billion to different states in order to recoup some of the damages that have been uh, dealt to their uh, local governments and municipalities. Um, so again, the, the, Do President Donald Trump said the explicit, the explicit purpose of this $2 trillion, potentially $6 trillion bailout is for AAA rated companies – to keep them going. So you have all these triple A rated, and that's insurance, right? Basically, they're saying that they're very low risk companies. And so what happened is that this whole risk uh, factor got, you know, accentuated and blown out of the water because of this black swan uh, coronavirus event, a black swan against something that is not really able to be calculated for in your forward risk models. So because they were saying, hey, this is McDonald's, they got projectable cash flow, they've got, you know, they've got a great history of credit, they've got, you know, they've never missed a payment, they have, uh, you know, very diverse business, we're going to give them a triple, and again, there's a formula that goes into rating companies, triple A, that's the highest quality, right? 
maybe a company like, uh, you know, Ford or GM, like some of these, you know, really robust staples of America. They have high credit ratings. Um, and then you have your other uh, junkier ones, your, your B, your triple B, your C, all that kind of stuff, which is really high risk speculative. Anyhow, so the president was saying that the main purpose of this stimulus package, and he was saying it's very, 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 very categorically different than our uh, fiasco that what happened in, in 2008, insofar as that was led by, you know, over leveraged banks and, and craziness. This was actually just an economic uh, standstill that we all came to when everybody is starting to get sick and fear of that sickness spreading. So two, di- uh, two very different uh, things and two very different ways that we need to cope with this. Um, so I want to talk about that. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, again, we're, we're, we're going to be having a about 15% difficulty adjustment in Bitcoin. And the difficulty adjustment uh, is basically this idea that Satoshi Nakamoto came up with, um, which ensures that transactions are processed every 10 minutes. Um, if processes, if transactions aren't being processed every 10 minutes, um, then the difficulty that the miners have to put into to mining, it gets lower so that people could uh, mine the blocks more. Um, so th- that's probably a, a little confusing, but the, the Really, the difficulty adjustment is the most uh, one of the most ingenious parts of Bitcoin's design. Um, basically, the more you know, when the process, if you guys aren't familiar with mining, you guys need to click the link and you know get involved with what we're doing here at Encrypt Nation, um, because mining is so core and so central to the security of your decentralized Visa network, which is Bitcoin, right? Your decentralized settlement layer, your decentralized central bank. It's Bitcoin is all these things, right? So let me try and state it again is like the more miners that are on the network, they contribute more hash power and the algorithm targets 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes, a block is produced and the block is what stores all the data, the transaction data in it. I send money to you, you send money to him. He's everybody's sending money at all the same time. And every 10 minutes that is being settled and put in the blockchain, that block is closed. And then a new uh, puzzle, right? Miners are really just solving mathematical puzzles um, and that have a difficulty associated with them. So when right now in the case of, of Bitcoin's uh, difficulty is about to have a 15% adjustment downwards, just really, 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 really a lot. Like it hasn't been this much in a really long time, this downward move. That means that, you know, there's not, a, you know, the, the, the difficulty was too high. And so it's coming back down to where that to meet the market. And basically it's because miners are leaving the Bitcoin network right now not in mass, but significant amount because it's not profitable enough to be mining, right? Miners are always going after uh, profitability. How much is electricity? How much is my hardware cost? And, um, you know, how, you know, can I liquidate these for, for cash in order to cover my expenses? Because they have expenses that are denominated in dollars, right? So right now what we're seeing is, um, you know, miners turning their mining machines off. Therefore, they won't be generating hash power to go to getting Bitcoin, right? Because when you mine, you solve the hash rate, the the hash power, and you solve the puzzles, right? You get the Bitcoin in reward for it. So right now, uh, we're going to see a a, a big difficulty adjustment tomorrow. uh, And then hopefully it makes uh, mining more profitable um, because it's easier, right? It's, It's less difficult. And then every two weeks, the algorithm readjusts. So we should be in for, um, for, for some more mining uh, talk here in, in the later stages. Uh, but again, we talk about all this stuff in, in Crypt Nation every day. So guys, come join us. Click the link below. And lots of interesting stuff going on. Uh, never a dull moment here. Bryce Paul, Crypto Revolution, Crypt Nation, Crypto 101 podcast. Stay safe.